from pulpzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a bottle of Fuller's. It's their Imperial Stout. It's 10.7% ABV. This was brewed in collaboration with the well-known beer writer Melissa Cole. And her influence on this has been, I think, amongst other things, has been the addition of rosebuds, dried rosebuds. So it's, they kind of say in the, a lot of the um, marketing spiel that it's, it has like a Turkish delight kind of thing going on. Just get this lovely packaging. As you'd expect from Fuller's. Ooh, let's have a look at the ball. There you go, very nice, very nice, very classy. It's a bottle conditioned beer, which for me, <sighs> bloody bottle conditioned beer. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I want to get all of the beer in the glass, I don't want to leave a bit behind. That's my other big bugbear about that. Anyway, just taking off the little kind of nice hiss, just taking off the little kind of sticker that was holding on the top. So I'll get this in the glass. Doesn't look like the thickest beer ever. That's enough. Uh, beer. beer in the glass, yeah, absolutely black as night, like a big shiny piece of coal. Looks fantastic, looks like Imperial Stout. The head, once again, as you'd expect, a lovely creamy mocha top. So let's check out the aroma. That smells lovely. Oh, that's really interesting. I don't know if it's in it, aged in any barrels or anything, but I am getting something that reminds me of kind of whiskey. No, no. Oh, it's hopped with Centennial as well, which is a bit different. No, it's no, no, no barrels, but I think it might be just probably just the alcohol which is in there. So it does have a mild kind of like TCP note. That's disappeared now, actually. Yeah, it's um, big on the caramel. Uh, the real kind of charred, um, kind of burnt ends of a joint of beef. Ch there's a charcoal thing going on. It's kind of sweet but savoury. There's a mild tar kind of thing going on. Definitely a coffee. Yeah, definitely a phenolic no coming from that alcohol, definitely. Yeah, lovely velvety chocolate. It was like intense vanilla extract. It smells good, it smells like good Imperial Stout, so let's dive in. You mean as far as those rose hips go, maybe I'm just not that familiar with the that aroma, but I'm not picking up anything that is going to jump it out. Apart from that kind of slightly phenolic note, I wonder if it's that. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, that's really good. That's really nice. Low side of full bodied, but it's definitely getting up there. It leaves you really kind of like your, your palate is completely coated, hangs which helps the flavor kind of like hang around in your mouth. So you get a lot more of length of the flavor, and it does have a really long, complex flavor. Yeah, yeah, those rose, rose hips really do come through actually, like a, um, like a dark chocolate coated. Um, Turkish Delight, definitely in there. Initially, there's a um, maybe hint of almonds, then onto big chocolate, big coffee. It's like tang of um, honey and also molasses without a doubt. Lovely coffee there. That's lovely as that. You are getting a peak of bitterness. It's kind of espresso, but then again, it might be from those hops. Now they are talking about the hops in this beer. It's an American uh, hop that's been used in this. So, do it, has it been quite uh, uh, pr prominently hopped in order to reach a peak of bitterness, which stands nicely alongside that um, charred bitterness that you got from like really heavy roast malt? Mm. That's really good. Licorice without a doubt. 
raisins, hint of rum, get a slight tang now, coffee, and this mild kind of, it's that kind of fragrance you get from, um, from coffee, and maybe a slight hoppy bite at the end. Which has been accented with those big heavy roast malts. It's really good actually. Mm. Not picking up much alcohol in the mouth, I think you get it on the nose. Not as much caramel, a bit more burnt and molasses like in the flavour. You are getting sticky bits around your mouth. Mm. Massively drinkable then. That's lovely. Really different, but not too different. And I said different. I mean, I said really different. I mean, I mean, it's different, but a nice amount of different. It takes the style. Ooh, nice a little bit of kind of like charred smokiness there. Such complex flavors. That ro uh, those rosebuds are definitely lending something to the um, to the flavor. I'm not sure if I'm getting it on the nose. Definitely getting the flavor. It's like a real intense. <coughs> excuse me. Well carbonated. Real intense um, dark chocolate covered Turkish delight, and I'm not a massive fan of that flavour, but it works with this beer because there's so much more going on, and it's just part of the it's part of the journey. I think it's been done really nicely. I'm really glad I found managed to find a bottle of this. I got this in a, a Utah beer in Borough Market, but you can go online and buy this direct from Fuller's, and I encourage you to do so because, to be honest, I've been really happily surprised by how good this beer is. Uh, remember their double stout being really good, but I think this is taking it to a, another level. But just a lot more complexity to it. Lovely stuff anyway, yeah, sorry. I, I'm showing the bottle, I didn't tell you what it was. So that's a bottle of Fuller's Imperial Stout. It's a limited edition bottle condition beer, 10.7% ABV. Brewed with Centennial hops and dried rosebuds in collaboration with the wonderful Mel Melissa Cole. Definitely worth checking out. Tasty brew beer. Get on it. Well, you don't miss out, you will regret it. It's something different, something unique. It's definitely worth uh, every penny I pay for it. Anyway, I'm Rob from popteen.com. I'm waffling. I didn't need to do more drinking. See you next time. Cheers.